I've been good. Uh, <clears throat> hugs? It's been so long. Look, I, I know you have a bunch of questions for me. But I promise I will explain everything. Um, once we get inside. And this is one of the reasons why I've been very absent. And I know this isn't the best place to meet up, obviously. Not in a hospital. And, um, I know things are a little bit rough between us. And this is why I invited you here. <clears throat> yes. And, um, the person that I'm meeting you with is my brother. Yeah, my brother. So he's been sick and, um, <clears throat> he's been in this hospital for, um, quite a while, but recently it's been, uh, it's been quite difficult for him, so I've just been here, yeah. Uh, a part of it, yes. Um, th yeah, this is the reason why I, you know, been absent in your life or absent from lectures and classes. This is that. And, um, I know it might seem like we're rushing things, uh, but I really want you to meet him. He's one of the most important people in my life. And you are too. Um, I'll tell you everything, okay? I'll, I'll, we'll talk about everything, um, yes, after we meet him. Just so it's a little bit easier. I feel like you'll understand once you see him. So, are you over it? Hmm. Okay. Are you nervous? Really? <laughs> Why? Oh, fair enough. I know he's my brother. Oh yeah, it's your first time. Obviously, yeah, it's your first time. Um, nope, nope. Um, you're the first friend ever brought here. Yep. It's alright. He's not scary, I promise. Um, one, four, zero. Here we are. You ready? <laughs> right. Excuse me. Oh, you're here early? Yeah, I, I have someone with me. Uh, who is it? Go on. He doesn't bite. Ah, oh, you must be the one she's been talking about. Nice to meet you. I'm Nora. Um, should I explain something, or...? No, no. They know you're my brother. Alright. Good. Mm -hmm. But you finished your classes, right? It's pretty early. Uh... Again? You skip classes again? Well, I don't think it's a surprise at this point, <sighs> right? Look, I promise it's not affecting our grades whatsoever. I'm good with studying. Ask them. Well, how would I know they're not lying? Their ears go red if they are lying. Ow, okay, okay, sorry. I'm just trying to be honest. All right then, I'll ask. Well, how's she doing? Are you freaking kidding me? Just okay, really? 
Hmm. Seriously, you don't trust me. I trust them more than you. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, say that again. I won't give you your favorite lunch. I have the smartest and kindest sister in the world. Uh. Fine. I'll heat it up for you. Thank you. Stay here. You're okay, right? She's gonna be a minute. Okay. <sighs> so... What did she tell you? Well, you know, about... About me, or this whole thing. Ah, so she hasn't told you yet. <clears throat> are you are you both in the same program? I see. It's good to know that she has a good friend like you. Thanks for coming all this way. Oh, don't worry. It's It's not rude at all to ask, but... I think it's better if she tells you herself. She looks like she has some things to tell you. Also, um, never mind. Are, are you gonna stay here for a while? Okay, that's good. I'm back. Uh, here's your food. And oh, the nurse is here, by the way. Should we? Yeah, I think it's better if you go out. We'll be waiting outside, okay? You can go home, though, if you'd like. I'll be fine. No, I'm staying. All right. All right, I'll see you. Okay. <sighs> They're just doing a little checkup. Mm-hmm. No, it's not going to take too long. Max 30 minutes. Mm, we can sit here. And talk. If you like. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. I don't know where to begin. Um. So, you met my brother. How was it? I know. <laughs> it was quite short. Hmm. Mm hmm Oh. Oh, right. Um, yeah, I was about to tell you, actually. Um, <clears throat> so, um, I know that I've told you a lot about him. Yes. He's basically the only family I have. Um, so we've been together. Since we were little. Mm-hmm. Our uncle took us in. And, um... They're quite busy at the moment. But they do come and visit once in a while. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> I, I don't have a better way to say this, but... Um, I've just been very overwhelmed, I think. Um, I feel like I'm constantly running out of time. Yeah. I've been running back and forth to campus, hospital, apartment, part-time. I miss my part-time sometimes, most of the time. Recently, yes, I've been missing more of them. I've just been here with him. Yeah. Um. I don't want him to feel lonely, you know. And I just want to say that I'm really sorry for seeming like I was avoiding you. I really wasn't. I wasn't trying to do that. Uh, it may. Uh, it may seem like that, and I'm very sorry. I guess I was, I was too focused in my own things, and I didn't know how to tell you because there was too much on my plate, and <clears throat> I, 
I almost forgot about our exams, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> I know that I will tell you eventually. I just didn't want to tell you when everything was just too much. Because I didn't want it to be too much for you, too. And, uh, unfortunately, we drifted apart when we were getting very close to each other, and I just want to say I really missed you. I really have. It's just such, um, it's just such a terrible time to... To be fair, there's never a perfect timing. But I, I honestly, I, I don't, I don't know how to express my um, frustration. To express how tired I've been. It's gonna be too much if I ever. Yeah, so I've just been trying to find ways to deal with it and tell you whenever I'm ready, so it took a while. And I'm sorry. I really missed talking to you, I missed walking to classes with you, I I missed cuddling with you and doing all these things. I'm, <clears throat> I'm truly sorry. I didn't want to do it. Yeah. I was gonna tell you, but I didn't think it'd be this soon, too. Oh. So, <clears throat> so about my brother, um, he is sick, as you can tell. Although he looks fine, <laughs> he looks fine, but he isn't. And <clears throat> hmm? why you want to hold my hand? Here. And um, the doctor said he doesn't have. There's just no cure for it. And... Obviously, I didn't know how to process that. Um... But everything was just too much. I can't imagine a day without him. I... I don't know what I'll do without him. But more so, I don't know how much pain he's feeling right now. I just know that he's in a lot of pain. <clears throat> and I didn't think my... I didn't think that my world will fall apart this soon. He was everything I had, you know? He's not just my brother, he has been my parents, my caretaker. He's been there. And I thought it's my turn to be there for him for his last few remaining days. Or weeks, I hope. I don't know. Nobody knows. I didn't think I'd be telling you this soon because I was afraid that I would lose you too. That I'm losing him and if I lose you, I don't know what I'll do. So, I guess I've just been trying to get used to 
being alone. I think I subconsciously did push you away. I was very... I didn't know what to do. What, what, what was I supposed to do? There was nothing I could do at that moment. I could only watch him in pain. But I... I wanted... I wanted you to meet him before. Yeah. Because that's what he's been worried about. You know, what if I... What's gonna happen if I leave you alone? Who's gonna cook your dinner when you get home? Who's gonna be there for you? That's what he said. That's what he said. <clears throat> So you don't have to worry. You know, I'm a big girl. I'm an adult now. I guess he just doesn't believe it. And so I thought I was running out of time because I slowly saw him getting more and more tired. The look on his face isn't the same anymore. And that's when I thought I should, I should start patching things up. Otherwise, I'll regret it later, so... I rushed and call you. And I'm sorry it took me this long. I'm so sorry. I know, I know we always had a thing. I know I always had a thing for you. And I know it was mutual, but... <clears throat> I didn't want to overwhelm you with all these things falling apart. I've been dying to do a lot of things with you. I I do, I really do. But right now I can't. I can't put him aside. He's my priority at the moment. He's my only family I have. I don't know what I'll do without him. I don't know what I'll do without him. <clears throat> do you think he's gonna be in a lot of pain? I don't know. <laughs> Look, he's in a lot of pain. He never says it. <laughs> Because he's so annoying like that. <gasps> you guys are crying? I left you two for ten minutes and you're you're crying? Should I get you a balloon or Shut up. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Don't cry. It's gonna be okay. I told you this multiple times. <laughs> Well, it's a good day today, so I asked the nurse to take a walk with me around the garden, so I'll leave you two here, alright? You sure you don't want us to go with you? No, 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 no. You guys go and talk it out. I'm gonna be staying around here anyway, so I'll see you later. Uh, okay, okay. Call me if you need anything. I will. See, he's so annoying. I hate him. Thanks for coming all the way here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll be here. Um, most of the days I'll be here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. <clears throat> no rush, yeah. Okay. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. I didn't think you 
would cry too. Oh my god. <laughs> that is embarrassing. You cry in front of him. <laughs> oh my god, it's so annoying. Why is he so annoying like that? I don't know. <laughs> he's fine. He's gonna be fine. I know he's gonna be fine. <laughs> Do you wanna get, um. I wonder if he's had his lunch. Do you wanna eat lunch together? Yeah, we can do that. Mm.